Sports supplements include a wide range of products, from protein shakes and creatine through to rehydration or electrolyte drinks, vitamins and minerals. The target market ranges from elite athletes to weekend enthusiasts and budding young talent. But claims of large improvements in physical performance, rapid gains in muscle bulk and quicker recovery from exercise has led to a demand for supplements amongst soldiers. You might ask, what's the risk in that? Well, these supplements may contain ingredients in breach of service policy and be banned by the World Anti-Doping Agency. The production of supplements is commonly subcontracted to third-party manufacturers who make a wide range of products for a wide range of brands. Whilst brand B may be respectable and may with the intention to be free of banned substances, traces of brand A may carry over if it was manufactured just before brand B and using the same equipment. Bad news if brand A contained banned substances. In addition, pressure on prices will encourage sourcing of raw ingredients from low-cost suppliers with poor quality control. Cross-contamination within a storage warehouse can then easily happen. More and more products are also using herbal ingredients and the chemical makeup of these is often not understood. So, traces of banned substances can easily find their way into legitimate products. Urine samples containing tiny amounts of banned substances can lead to a positive drugs test and the soldier's career left in tatters.